My name is Kaim Chandler Genius, and today's question is polynomial, linear, or logistic. So let me show you how to determine what kind of regression to do if you have a data set. Now, if you look at my screen, I have uh, one data set I generated. So this is just a random data set, X and Y. So I'm going to just run this one, run this one. And I also have another data set I imported from a CSV right here. So I'm going to plot the two. I'm going to help you see the appearance of the scatter plot of this data set that will help you determine whether to use polynomial, linear, or logistic regression. So let's start from the, the first one. So I'm going to say plt the scatter and simply specify x and y and let's see how this data looks like. Now you can see this data is more or less uh, straightforward. You can see kind of a positive uh, relationship between the two uh, the, uh, the two data, uh, the two variables you can see here. So this tells you that somehow you can use a you can use linear regression because it seems there seems to be a linear relationship between them. Because the, the reason you need to understand this is when you have a data set, you need to choose what uh, analytics method to use. So because you will not be told sometimes what kind of uh, analysis to perform, you need to check your data set and see what kind of analytics to perform so that you don't waste time unnecessarily. So in this case, the first thing you need to do once you receive a data set, try to do a scatter to have a visualization of what the relationship might look like. And in this case, it seems to be a linear relationship. So the best thing to do in this uh, small data set or this uh, fairly simple data set is maybe to perform linear regression. Okay, let's now do uh, this data I imported here. We have um, uh, the, this, I got the CSV file. So let me just replace these variables. I'm going to say data, uh, data X, I plot it against data Y. And this is, in this case now, uh, this is this data I imported from a CSV. So I'm going to plot by running this all over again. I'm going to click. Now, one thing you can see right now is that this data, uh, this plot is all over the place. You see the data points are just all over the place. So clearly you see there is no linear relationship between these data points. That may now tell you that linear regression might not be a good option in this case. So we are going to be doing a step-by-step. -step. Let me show you how to perform uh, linear, uh, polynomial regression. And also I discussed briefly the concept of underfitting and overfitting because in the case of polynomial regression, the assumption is that the relationship between the data uh, variables is a polynomial relationship, meaning that the function relating X and Y in this case is a function that says F of X is equal to AX raised to the power N plus BX raised to the power N minus one all the way down. So we want to see what degree of polynomial to use and so on. So this we are going to talk about in this class. Let's now talk about logistic regression. Let me show you another data set that tells you that, okay, it, it's not a linear relationship. It's also not a polynomial relationship or something. Let's see. So let me now plot a different data set. Now in this case, I'm using, uh, I'm generating this data set. So I'm going to just paste, uh, paste, the, the, the code, so you say I'm an important make classification from SKLine and I'm generating 100 data, uh, data points uh, using all these variables. So this is not the subject of this class, so I'm not going to explain it here, but please subscribe to my channel or check out our videos you see explanation for this. So I'm going to plot by running this uh, cell, so I'm going to run. Now what you see here is not a linear relationship, it's also not like the or initial scatter plot we saw is more or less like something else. So in this case, you see the one part of the data is clustered close to one. Another part of the data is clustered close to zero. Although there is another um, um, unsupervised learning, um, um, unsupervised learning uh, analytics you can perform called clustering. But in this case, we cannot we can perform logistic regression on this data set. So in this case, we can use logistic regression because we visualize the data and it's clustering between two different uh, points, 
and we can see that we can't do linear, we can't do log um, a polynomial, it is logistic. All right, having understood how to determine what kind of analytics to perform on your data, I'm going to now perform logistic regression on this data set. So let me just take out this. So let me take you step by step on how to perform logistic regression. And please, uh, if you have challenges, let me know. If you want to learn data science, want to learn bits of machine learning, please subscribe and also follow my channel because I actually try to break things down very easily. Now, regression or polynomial regression, as I mentioned, assumes that the relationship between X and Y is, of the, is a polynomial function of some degree, right? So quadratic is X squared plus 2X plus 1 or something like that. Uh, um, or degree 3 is X to power 3 plus X squared plus X plus 1. So you have this coefficient and you have the powers of X decreasing from the highest point down to the lowest point. That's a polynomial function. So we are assuming that this is not a linear function, but a polynomial function uh, that exists. So we are trying to determine what polynomial function is that. And then at the end of the day, you can actually write this polynomial function if you want by determining the coefficients. All right, so let's go ahead to perform polynomial regression. So for the first thing I'm going to do, let me just assign uh, the x, uh, or you can just say, you can visualize the data by saying data dot head, just to see uh, how this data looks like. So I'm going to run. So you can see we have x, y, z, but in this case, I'm trying to perform, perform polynomial regression. If you want to perform a regression that involves all the three variables, and that is multiple regression. So it could be multiple linear regression, it could be multiple uh, polynomial regression. It could also be any other thing. So in this case, I, in this case, this is a different data set. We, I performed a multiple linear regression in this data set. But in this case, I hope I'm thinking you are a beginner or something. You are, just, you are just an enthusiast, you want to learn. So let's just keep it simple. Let's perform polynomial regression on this data set we have here. So the first thing you want, I want to do, I want to assign the x variable to data x. So I'm extracting the, the x feature or the x column and putting it in the variable x. And also extracting y and putting it in y. So data y. All right, so we have our x and y. Normally, um, I like running each uh, cell once I write it. And the next thing we want to do is to import polynomial regression, which is available in sklane.preprocessing. Uh, give me one second. Yeah, so now there's something called data cleaning. Uh, I'm not going to be talking about it a little uh, much here, but I'm going to talk about it in a different, uh, more advanced class. So I'm going to say from sklane, dot preprocessing. Preprocessing is a module that is used for a bit of the, uh, some kind of data cleaning or preprocessing of your data. So the details of what it is is, um, is not covered here. Import polynomial features. Okay, so, so let me just make sure it works. I'm gonna just run this cell. Okay, perfect. So what I'm gonna do next is to say, um, uh, I'm gonna say x is equal to reshape, x dot reshape from minus one to one. So this you have to do if you are performing polynomial regression, polynomial regression, more or less to uh, fit the data into some kind of uh, limits. Um, yeah, more like to re reshape the data to fit it into some kind of limits or to uh, make it be or be something you can use for analysis. So more like you are reformatting the data into a a unit that can be used from polynomial regression. So yeah, so let's see. So the next now I, I mentioned I remember you need to. Okay, so it's going to be 
values put values and let's see let me run the run this all right so the next thing i would like to do we now need to uh determine the number of degrees of this polynomial and that's the concept of underfitting and overfitting the higher the degree the more accurate your model will be okay but if it's too high we now have a problem of overfitting so you don't want to choose a very high degree you don't want to also choose too low degree or uh, a very low degree a degree one is linear degree two is quadratic and so you have to choose you have to make a choice so i'm going to just assume that this polynomial function is degree five or six so let me use degree uh six so i'm going to say create a polynomial uh, object a, a polynomial regression object is equal to okay so i'm gonna we're gonna change it to five at some point just to see how it's gonna affect the output okay so the nice thing you want to do is to determine is to calculate the values for x given the values for y pass to your data set through this model we created so i'm going to say x poly is equal to poly that fits and give it a poly that fit transform and, and give it the values at uh, the x values so i'm going to run and we also have to now do poly dot fit and specify x poly and specify y okay okay so at this point we've created a model this polynomial model that understands this data okay so the next thing we want to do now is we want to see how this model uh, fits through this data set okay so we want to kind of uh, pass a, a regression line through this data set that is all over the place so basically what i'm trying to say is that if i say plt your scatter and i specify x and y and now what we want to do now is to pass a regression line through this model to see if it's going to understand give us a shape of how the relationship looks like whether it's a what kind of relationship we are going to get uh, when we fit our, our, our model our data through this model all right so again you now have to use uh, a, a linear regression can help us a linear regression object helps us give us the line that we can fit through so i'm going to create a linear regression object so i'm going to say from sk learn dot linear model import linear regression okay so i'm going to run i think there's a way to run by clicking uh, by using the keyboard i can't remember and then i'm going to say linreg is equal to linear regression so i'm going to create a linear regression object and i'm going to say i'm going to uh, fit the data tree linreg that fits in this case i'm using the x poly which is the values of x that has been fitted through the polynomial model and i'm going to give y and finally i'm going to predict values for y using the values for y is going to be used to create the regression line so it's going to be x and y pred or uh, y pred oh, sorry let's see y pred is equal to linreg dot predict and give it x okay so i'm going to run everything uh dot feet so it's going to be feet okay so i'm missing all this so let me just add it let's see okay so second let's run all right so that's fine so now let's do a scatter plot 
and that scatter plot will simply help us fit a, a line the line through this data so i'm going to say plt dot scatter and specify x y color is equal to uh, let's see the color is equal to blue so this one plots the x y the original data set and the second one is a line that's going to fit through so i'm going to say plt the plot x this time is white red and color is equal to red and plt dot show All right so i'm going to run this and now you can see how it looks like so this is a basic polynomial regression now i was talking about underfitting and overfitting when you choose the 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 degree of this polynomial the higher the degree the more accurate your model but if it's too high it's going to lead to overfitting so let me go and change the degree of this polynomial let's say we use a degree three let's just see how it's going to look how it's going to make this data look so i'm going to come here and just run everything and go down and now you see it looks like this the grid tree does not actually fit so well through the data because this is now a problem of underfitting now again if you try to increase the degree of the polynomial to maybe 12 or something it's going to lead to overfitting and that's how i'm going to leave that to you as an assignment so play around with the degrees of the polynomial function and see how it affects your or the, the, the output of the regression, the polynomial regression. And so this is basically how to perform polynomial regression. I've not actually explained so well, but take some time to go through it and also check my website in the description box below. You see really all the details on actually what all these bits of code is all about. I'm going to be stopping here. Please, if you have challenges, let me know. Also, subscribe to my channel because I do appreciate when friends subscribe to my channel. And remember, I'm always there for you and I remain kind and the genius.